Whenever questions are raised about vote switching, the networks, mainstream media, Edison, Secretary of State, or elected officials' basic response has simply been, it's human error, which we're told was the case in Armstrong County. If that was true, what about the other 400,000 errors? How were these errors even made? Why were they made? Who is making these errors? And what other errors in our vote tabulation process do we not know or hear about? Don't these votes deserve a second look? The bottom line is that errors were made. The data confirms these errors, and it shouldn't matter if they were machine or human. They are still errors and deserve a second review and thorough analysis with forensic audits to find the answers. Our elected officials are telling us to move on, but don't these 400,000 errors deserve a more detailed and legitimate explanation? We're now looking at a specific district within Allegheny County. This is District 10, which has an absentee vote ratio between Biden and Trump of 17 Biden votes to one Trump vote. In some precincts within this district, Trump received zero votes as Biden received hundreds. The reason we draw attention to this geography is because Allegheny County as a whole was closer to four Biden votes for one Trump vote, which is above average to begin with. In addition, all other Allegheny districts voted 78% Biden on average, while we see a staggering 93% here. This resulted in over 23,000 votes for Biden as Trump only received 1,300. These statistical outliers fall well outside of normal distribution patterns, which are highly unlikely. Moving on from the statistically anomalous vote totals within an Allegheny district, as you can now see, Allegheny as a whole had a normal accumulation of absentee votes for Biden, except for two data points where it looks like data was deleted. Now, if we look at Trump's vote accumulation, the data system logs report a 145,000 vote increase, followed by a vote reset or deletion, where he doesn't again reach those original absentee totals. And yet our elected officials are certifying these results without answering these questions or explaining what the reason is within the data. Where do the votes go? And it wasn't just absentee votes that logged strange activity in Allegheny. The election day votes also go negative or decrease for Donald Trump. Looking from left to right, which represent the individual time updates where vote updates were released, Trump totals increased over 20,000, which were then removed as he falls back down to near zero. He continues to increase and then loses around 1,300, over 800, around 1,500, and then 1,800 votes in succession. In total, over 27,000 votes are removed from Trump's cumulative totals. Why would a Pennsylvania election official in Allegheny boast about how the system is designed to block ballot observation? We now arrive at Chester County. Before we begin, it's important to be reminded of how an incremental chart should look. From left to right, each vote total update should stay flat or increase only. When you see a decrease in the chart, that means votes are being removed. We can clearly see that both absentee and election day votes do not follow normal incremental behavior in Chester County. Trump loses almost 26,000 from his election day and nearly 50,000 from his absentee. He later loses over 9,000 and then again over 6,000 from his election day updates. Again, this is something that should never occur in an additive voting process. Lehigh County is another example of irregular activity within the election voting data. This is another time series example where we move from left to right, looking at the incremental vote totals, which should only be flat or incremental. We can see Trump out of the gates receives over 66,000 votes, which are then taken away from his counts. He then receives three incremental updates to get back to over 66,000. But if this were some kind of human error, wouldn't the total be updated directly back into the value that was removed? Why are updates of around 7,000, 18,000, 38,000 recorded? And why aren't the amounts not equal to what was taken away? What's going on here? So on this slide, we take the time to look at one of the most egregious parts of Pennsylvania, and that's Philadelphia. Philadelphia, in over 278 precincts, voted 97% or more for Joe Biden. We really want you to think about this for a minute. Hold that close. Think about your neighbors, your friends, people you go to church with. That means. Nine out of 10 people that you know voted for Joe Biden. 